Around 2,000 Catholic families are gathering in Rome this week to meet Pope Francis and hear talks on marriage and the faith. It is all part of the World Meeting of Families. At a sunny address to pilgrims at the Vatican, the Holy Father thanked married couples and others who will bear witness to family love as a vocation and a way to holiness. Created in 1994 by St. John Paul II, the 10th edition of the World Meeting of Families starts Wednesday in Rome. Joining us now from Rome is Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Andreas, great to see you. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this meeting this week. Yes, Tracy. Here in Rome, everyone is getting ready for this very important event, event because this Wednesday, the 10th World Meeting of Families will officially begin. We had to wait for four years since the last one took place in Dublin, Ireland. And EWTN is the official media partner of this event. We'll broadcast live starting tomorrow in three languages and we'll feature interviews with, with great guests speaking about family and faith. And actually, I'm standing right here now on the podium that we'll use for a live streaming. Our affiliates around the globe will broadcast in more than 12 languages, taking our content from this event. And there's been a lot of anticipation on the World Meeting of Families, as it is such an important topic for the church. And as you know, Tracy, family, its definition and role within society is also a much fought over topic as well. So the world will listen closely, very closely, how the church will celebrate this week the nucleus of our society, as Pope Francis called it. Unfortunately, the organizers of the meeting had to cap the amount of participants as it had been postponed once already because of COVID-19. And Pope Francis will welcome the approximately 2,000 delegates sent by the home dioceses, international movements and family associations. All in all, there will be 170 delegations coming from more than 120 countries. Andreas, I'm curious, what will the program look like this week? Well, Tracy, the World Meeting of Families will be open with a festival of families at the Paolo Sesto Hall this Wednesday. The hall is just right there behind me, behind the colonnade of St. Peter's Square. There will be a big celebration welcoming the participants. From Thursday to Saturday, there will be a congress taking place in the same hall. And there are speakers and testimonials from all over the globe sharing their wisdom and experience with faith and the family. And EWTN will be covering the whole Congress and in addition interview a few of the speakers to grant an in-depth experience to our audience. On Saturday afternoon, there will be Mass at the Vatican. The Holy Father is scheduled to preside over the liturgy. And the family delegations will be sent off on Sunday with a papal blessing after the traditional Angelus prayer in St. Peter's Square. So you see, Tracy, a full program indeed. And Andreas, um, can you talk to us about the topics um, at the conference and the speeches? What will they focus on? Well, I have to say, Tracy, the topics we'll hear about here are very concrete and deal with real-life challenges of families today. Three examples I would like to mention are, first of all, the preparation of couples for married life, the special vocation of families as a path to holiness, and raising children, and a better inclusion of the elderly. These themes will be discussed in form of talks and testimonies. Delegate families will have the opportunity for questions and conversations with each other. And the network aspect is also very, very important. For many Catholic families, it's vital to meet and be with other families who share the same experience. And Tracy, to end with, just recently, the Holy Father addressed Catholic family organizations in Europe, affirming that the family founded on marriage is crucial. Pope Francis told the group, and I quote, the mutual love between man and woman is a reflection of the absolute and unfailing love with which God loves the human being, destined to be fruitful. We're looking forward to hear more about faith and the family here in Rome, as well as inspiring testimonies from families around the world. Andreas, thank you so much for that report today. We appreciate it. Andreas Tonhauser, EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief. Thank you again.